But I said to myself, enough of this grimness, as Norm MacDonald would say. Let's lighten the things up a little. Let's hit a fucking goal, shall we? Damn straight. This one, first one's called Getting Hot. So this is exciting because on Thursday, Aaron has been very kind lately. Even like if they're missing, the, he's like, hey, man. No worries. Ain't no thang, brother. If I go- miss the goal, hit the goal, all- don't don't change the time the sun rises, you know? We're all just spinning here on this big blue marble. <laughs> so, so he hasn't really cared about the goal as much as I used to. And I w- would always say this when Aaron would say, like, oh, the haters must be seething that I missed the goal today. And I would say, no, no, Aaron. We don't care if you miss or make the goal. It's about the journey. We need to be on a journey with you. You need to care about the goal. And it seems like maybe after they missed the goal a few times, he's starting to get back there. He's getting a little more anxious. Nice guys fading. <laughs> uh, you predicted by Thanksgiving, by the way, if everyone remember. Or the day, the weekend Thanksgiving. Oh, that's Thanksgiving. true. I did, yeah. yes. yes. After <laughs> Thanksgiving, I wonder if the nice guy act will subside. Uh, thank you very much to Bobby for five bucks over on PayPal. Thank you very much, Bobby. I like that. 260 away from today. We're still a long ways away uh, from today. Uh, If you'd like to uh, throw us a few bucks, we sure could use it. we got a great show going for you today. In fact, the last three have been real bangers, and you guys have answered the bell every single (laughs) time. You kind of owe us, if you think about it, you kind (laughs) of owe us for the last three also. The last three, it's so interesting to think of your show that way. Like The last three shows have been good. Four shows ago... I don't know if we really had our best stuff. <laughs> but you owe us money for how good the last three shows were. I'm, we appreciate it. We're a cumulative show. <laughs> how, much, but... how much do I owe, like, when I watch something like, um, like Shane Gillis and Adam Ray on Kill Tony? How much do we all owe for that? Because, like, Hinchcliffe just gave us that for, th- for free. <laughs> <laughs> and, but it's the most watched podcast ever. It's all kind of a crazy number. How much do we owe? Is it the same for each of us? Is it based on income? Like, how do we know what we should pay Tony Hinchcliffe for doing a fun podcast? I'd, I'd watch an hour show of Aaron describing what a banger show is. Just describe what a banger show is, Aaron. I'll tell you exactly. What, what makes it? We they hit the goal. Ta- That's it. <laughs> they talked about politics. They talked about Nick Ricada accusing him of eating cum. And they talked about hitting the goal. That's what they talked. That's a that's a banger. That's a banger. Yeah, that's a fucking banger. Hate you. Uh, let's really start knocking this out. Uh, rallies are welcome. Uh, Two hundred sixty bucks away for today. Let's make the uh, size of the goal commensurate to the quality of the program. <laughs> uh, we got a bunch more stuff to talk this is, about. This is such a good show. Why is the goal so far away? That's crazy. <laughs> Yes, it's gone from nice guy to like I'm. I'm going to be smarter than them. I'm going to use the big words. Maybe yeah. do the big words work? Do they get us a few more dollars? Maybe I'm being I'm being nice to you guys still, but you know, <laughs> you know, you got to hold up your end of the bargain here. I, my, da- Daddy won't hate you if you clean up your room. My niceness is commensurate with your money. <laughs> but today, let's move on. We got we've had to deal with some breaking news with the Alex Jones stuff. Yeah, and all of that. Uh, we got a couple of just. Silly little stories here. Um, like a, like a, guys... As the great Tom Myers once said, like a firefighter running into a burning building. You know, <laughs> he's like, listen here, you guys should throw some money because the Alex Jones uh, onion news broke while I was on the air. <laughs> so you so you somehow owe us for that. Like I just on the fly had to talk about the onion winning the bid for Infowars. That's not free. That's not like I just go to Alex Jones's Twitter and play the live stream that he's currently streaming. No, no, no. That costs money to keep this thing on the air. So when we have crazy moments like that, it's going to cost you a few dollars. Just remember that. I had to check Twitter. For God's sakes, people, donate. <laughs> well, ever since Elon, that greedy <laughs> Elon has has yes. made the cost of that so insurmountable. <laughs> It's free, isn't it? No, it's like, the, it's it. like the, what they say, the gas fees for using Ethereum, you know? <laughs> like they, like you, can, you, you can use the platform, but sometimes it gets up there in cost. Mike, losing the entire audience with that one, but I got it. <laughs> oh. What is it? Oh, I was going to say, I have like an internal clock at this point, because I'm like, it must be getting close to 830, and we're, oh, man. A, we're 
<laughs> he had a internal <laughs> cock at some point too. Hey, oh, <laughs> that's Rick <laughs> It's such a great. I like that you explain it. Like I wouldn't know it was Nick Ricada. <laughs> Who do you mean? <laughs> well, there might be a list. He, boy, that's such. It's such a skill that Aaron has, though. He's like, you know, it's. It's really. It's kind of like born in me. I don't even need to look at the clock now. I can just feel that I need a lot of money in a short amount of time. I feel it in my bones. I start to tingle. <laughs> when when time is running out and I need you to hand me money, what is time really? <laughs> Made less than a hundred bucks because my bot now my body, like my internal clock, my body just starts to heat up at a certain time where I'm like, oh shit, we're a long ways away from today's goal. And this nice I'm guy act can only take me so far. I'm gonna have to start hitting <laughs> these bitches again. I've never heard anyone call embarrassment like the warm, I get warm or whatever the fuck you said. It's called embarrassment. It's, it's no, what he, it's called. It's what you're feeling. It's warm. Oh, it I'm heating warm. up. I need money. <laughs> I'm getting embarrassed. The only cure for that is money. I sweat and my legs are starting to shake. And then I look down at the clock. I'm like, holy it's shit. Shame. It's called it right shame. around 830. Every Dude, time. So you're saying like, like. For you, when the shows are going like this, it's almost like a woman going through menopause. You just kind of have that yes. hot flash moment. It's like my period. Jesus. Have some fucking you know? dignity, Aaron. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> have some respect for yourself, for fuck's sake. When I beg for money, it's like I'm bleeding from my twat. What are you talking about? Johnny, Johnny just insulted you, and you're like, sure, whatever, whatever gets us there. I'll say it's like my period. Fine. <laughs> Uh, that's part of being nice, right? I just agree with everything, right? Even if I don't understand it. All right, yeah, good job, Johnny. That's right. Period. But, uh, but also, <laughs> the cure for embarrassment is not money. You should still be embarrassed by these things. Does he not really like? That's still worth being embarrassed about. You begging for money. Like if you went if, when you were in school, if you went to the guidance counselor and you were like, "I have a, a huge zit today," and everyone's making fun of me for it, they wouldn't be like, "Well, here's forty dollars. That should fucking that should cure everything, right?" That, Back to class. <laughs> well, you did the goal show. We did the goal show. Mm. I think the second goal show would be easier, and the third and fourth, and eventually you just get on a thing where, ah, oh, what's it asking for money now? I've lost my shame years ago. It's like it, the phantom pain is gone. The arm is gone. That's, that's true. By the way, our goal today is $40,000. I think we're getting <laughs> yes. close. So keep super chatting, folks. Yes, and 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 – we mentioned, or I mentioned to you, that uh, YouTube has now instituted its own goal <laughs> for monetized takeouts, which are going to, it's going to be amazing. So look for that in future weeks. We're going to have goals, real goals from YouTube. So exciting. It's like Aaron Imholt worked with YouTube. It's, and, it blew my mind. And guys, you don't want me to be embarrassed, so you better <laughs> donate. <laughs> it is going to be so funny watching all those people set high goals and have <laughs> no money coming <laughs> in. It's going to be great. And the only thing that can tamp on my period is your guys' hard-earned money. So Good stuff Lord. some support up in that wound. Yeah, that's right. I want you to uh, take the applicator, which is your debit card. Oh, they're still what going are you doing? Them. And I want you to <laughs> shove it up the cunt that is my show so we can soak up the goal with the cotton Have that you is no your dignity? money. Like, he thinks this is like a funny bit. Like, oh, help. I'll make it seem like I'm menstruating. That's a little self-deprecation right there. No, it's the, the joke upholds though you're still doing that you're behaving the same way <laughs> you haven't changed anything just because you're like yes it's exactly like menopause i, I wanted to give money and now i'm too confused i put my wallet away you're gonna have to he changed course it was menopause first and then it was his period yeah so he said johnny said it's like menopause yeah and then he tagged it with period because you know uh, menopause and periods. <laughs> they're very, they're actually like the opposite of each other, if you think about it. <laughs> and he's having hot flashes. Maybe he just put it all together. I don't know. It, it, <laughs> Midwestern brain is confusing and confounding to me. Interesting. I think that gets it pretty clear out for everyone. <laughs> it's not clear. Oh, this one's thank called you, Distress. You, oh, God. Well, we, things are, now things are starting to get real. People have stopped being polite <laughs> and started to get real. So this is a very <laughs> distressing situation. Nice real-world pull for us oldies. Jockey with a dollar says, your menopause heating up. This isn't show-related. Oh. Uh, Alex is live with his attorney, says Sage Retard, for a dollar. All right, guys, do me a favor, then. I want to check this out. This is kind of a historic day. InfoWars has been sold to The Onion. It's a, it's yeah, a weird fucking... but what do we have to do to get you to check it out? <laughs> There's got to be a catch here, Aaron. <laughs> Can't believe we're saying, saying that. Yeah. 
Uh, but we're 260 away from our goal. We are really uh, – we're, we're, we're sucking hind tit goal-wise. So if you could help us out, we can keep doing this quality show for you today and we're not stopping to beg every few minutes. Boy, I'd really – Sucking hind tit. Hold on. I've never heard that, that expression. Down. But I've got no, an but... idea. I've got an idea. <laughs> this, inf- this is a, apparently a historic day, which feels like a bit of a stretch. It's an, <laughs> it's an interesting story. I'll grant you that. Historic feels like kind of a lot. But – this is a historic day in the steel toe world. Let me throw this idea at you, Aaron. You just cover it as long as you want, whether you hit the goal or not. But you talk about it. You give all your thoughts. You watch Alex Jones as long as you find it interesting. And then when you're done, you stop doing that. Is that reasonable? Instead of having it contingent on people throwing ten dollars at a time at you, just talk about Alex Jones. Don't. It's not up to us whether or not you're going to talk about Alex Jones. I have to pay you so you do your show. That's so crazy. He's just ahead of YouTube on this one. Really appreciate it. So if you got a few bucks, Streamlabs, PayPal, and Venmo are my three favorite ways to do it. Uh, but if you can do uh, super chats or rumble rants. Um, oh, okay. De-stress the Thank show God. a little bit. I was worried. I was like, "Can I not super chat anymore? Can I not rumble rant?" But <laughs> it's just those are his favorite ways. Yeah, you know why though? There's favorite ways, right? Because he makes more money off of them. Yep. Yeah, yeah. you get yeah. all of the money through PayPal, Venmo, and stream yeah. or Streamlab links. The others, are, I get sixty percent of the. You I can am- give to there, but it's not as good. These are a few of my favorite <laughs> things. <laughs> just all ways you can pay him. That should be someone who's, uh, I'm trying to think, could Tukey handle this? Someone will be able to handle it. That devil verse people are very talented. Make make that song with Aaron, but he's just listing ways you can pay him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can pay my Bitcoin wallet. <laughs> Let's get that number down. Let's get a big rally going. You got 5, 10, 20, 50, 100 bucks. You want to throw <laughs> it at the show? I'd really appreciate it. Matter of fact... Every twenty bucks gets fifty bucks to Stonies. Let's get out of town. Stonies gift cards. You mean? What? You mean? Do you mean to tell me? Let me see if I get this straight. If I give you twenty dollars right now, then what I get to do is hop on a plane. This is genius. Fly to the middle of Minnesota and go to a bar I've never been to. And I can now spend $30 that I didn't have before. It's a $50 gift card. I did pay $20 for the privilege. So it's really a $30 gift card, if you think about it. Yes. Uh, you want to do a little play acting? All right. I am the Stoney's owner. You're, uh, <laughs> you're Steel Toe. Let, let's talk about... Uh, so what is this idea? You want a you wanna gift card? To your show's national. You, no, 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 no. So you give me every yeah. gift card you've ever printed. <laughs> That's going to put me out of business. I can't. What, D- it, don't worry about it. No one's ever going to use them because why, none, of, none of them live here. <laughs> how is that promoting my business? I said, well, Aaron, what, do you understand marketing? I say, I say Stoney's a bunch, and these people that will never go there know what your business is. <laughs> I think that hurts my business more than anything. No, what no, what no. are we doing? You, you're not getting it, man. <laughs> and how many of these see do you the need? light? <laughs> and I have to honor these? Fuck you. Get your racist out of my bar. <laughs> We're going to hear Aaron give away like a bunch of gift cards. And <laughs> he also reveals that like people never collect them because we don't live in St. Cloud, Minnesota. <laughs> this is, I got everyone do this. Go find a local mom and pa business in yeah. your own neighborhood. This is Mike. Uh, you know, you're, you're thinking too big with this J 37 shop. People can actually get to it. Yeah. We need to go smaller. Something uh, way harder to e- find. Even smaller than a guy's eBay store. <laughs> All <laughs> <Yes>. right, fine. <laughs> <laughs> Cause they can ship right to your house at great prices. If you use blind Mike and the, <laughs> but yes, no, this is better. I All right. Think. You know what? Every guys in the chat, <laughs> find everyone, a food cart. <laughs> every, every, everyone who gives me 50 bucks. Uh, if you go to Stella's in Watertown, First slices on me. How's that sound? <laughs> Congratulations, everyone. All right. I, I think that's a pretty good deal. I imagine the money is pouring in already. Yeah, uh, and I'm taking little little Chaco's uh, meat truck out here, and anyone who wants to come to Venice gets a free hot dog from Chaco's meat truck. <laughs> Hold me to it. That's a fifty dollar donation. You get a free hot dog. Because <laughs> we really need to. Uh, I, I really like the show we're doing today. I don't want to be sitting here begging all the time. I love you guys. You're great. I know you hate it. I know it sucks for the show. 
So I don't want to. This is him anything. trying. He's like, oh, I gotta be positive. Be po- no, I'm being po- yeah. I'm being positive, and I'm not talking about the goal. That's what I'm doing right now. Is not talking about the goal. So I know you guys are fucking awesome. The goal doesn't really matter. But also, like, what, what do I need to do? I'll tap dance if you give me money. Come on. <laughs> Every twenty bucks is going to be get fifty dollars to Stonies, and we're going to send that out next week. So please, thank you, Streamlabs, PayPal, Venmo. Throw in. Let's go back to our acting class. So do I got to pay the shipping on the fucking <laughs> those things too? Because I'm not doing that, Aaron. <laughs> no, but you do have to pay for the plane ticket to get to Minnesota. <laughs> okay. okay. And let's knock this out. I'm going to handle the phone call stuff I mentioned yesterday. While we okay, you go ahead and do that. I, I want to play this Alex show. <laughs> He's focused on the goal. This thing, cover it, but I also have financial obligations to uh, take care of for the show. So please and thank you. Mussolini Diff with $2. <laughs> thank you, Mussolini Diff. Yeah, li- listen, I, I want to get to this Alex Jones stuff. It's interesting. This, this is how he looks at it. I want to get to this Alex Jones stuff. What I want to do is on my show, play clips of Alex Jones talking about this deal with the onion and break it down, dissect how maybe the court didn't really. It is like an actually, actually kind of an interesting thing where Maybe the court actually is suppressing Alex Jones. There might be some chicanery going on that Aaron can break break down. But that's not for that's on the show. But it's not for the show. What's most important for the show is to me for me to sit here and mindlessly repeat Streamlabs, PayPal, Venmo, Rumble <laughs> Rants, Super Chats. Me to say that over and over again and make it seem like I really need money so that you give it to me. That's more important for the show. The Alex Jones conversation, that's just for me, I guess. And that's why I'm broadcasting it. I don't know. It doesn't <laughs> add up to me. He's doing it backwards. All right. This one's called Tough Job. I mean, this guy, you, you don't understand what Aaron does, really. On a, day, on a day-to-day basis. I was going to say weekly basis. Day-to-day. He is out there. Twice a day. Do Sometimes twice a day. Doing this for us. And that's important to just... Try and remember. Uh, Vance with 20 bucks. Thank you very much, Vance. Hey, that's a Stoney's gift card. I appreciate that. <laughs> there he is. That's going to knock us down to 245 for wow. today. Keep it going, taste- everybody. 20 bucks, just like that. We're going to hammer this thing hey, out. Hey, Aaron, how no are you going to get him that gift card? You kind of just blew by his $20 <laughs> donation. What gift card? What are you talking about? It is. It, it's smart of Aaron. I mean, it's kind of a dumb marketing strategy, but it's smart in the sense of like most of the people donating to my chat do not live in Minnesota. Yes. He's done and, the theref- <laughs> and therefore will never collect these gift cards. We have to find a, like a, oh my God. Uh, so my parents uh, we used to be part of these like groups, like uh, fuck, what were they called? They, uh, the Shriners and shit. Mm-hmm. And they just have these like little places where they go and meet. And there's got to be one in St. Paul. We got to hook them up and say, hey, call this place. He has to have an influx of people coming into Stoney's where the guy's like, hey, Aaron, I'm getting a lot of people coming in cashing these $50 fucking. It would, be, it would be great. But that, that, you know what? The next time he does it, we should all donate $20. <laughs> and, yes. And, get, and make, let Aaron make $4,000 for the day. You know, really make his day. But then we all take a trip to Minnesota together. <laughs> To bankrupt Stoney. And put this place out of business. <laughs> <laughs> Operation <laughs> Operation Destroy Stoney's is in full effect. Like, how do they get all these gift cards? <laughs> Let's get them on air saying, yes, we will honor it. And then we got him. <laughs> we'll just buy a million of them. And we own Stoney's people. <laughs> we time. Jane says we wouldn't be here if we hated the begging. I know. I understand Freemasons, a lot of you, yes. you tolerate it. And you guys are really nice for doing I know, that. No, I, I know. I, I, listen, I, listen, believe me. No one knows better than me. You guys love the bank. I understand. <laughs> it just sometimes, sometimes I don't like to have to do it. You know, I know, <laughs> I, I, I know it. everybody loves it so much. But I got, I got it, Mike. We all do that. We get all, we get all the Stonies get mailed to us, and then we box them up and we ship them to a, the local Elks Lodge, and we say, hey, these are uh, a gift from Stonies to the yeah. local Elks Lodge. But they're only good for one day. <laughs> you have to use them. <laughs> No, we send all those people from Minnesota. Like, because he thinks, oh, none of these people will come in. But if we mail these to people, 
that live in Minnesota, then they all go in at one time. We could do. We, this. Give, we could give them to the homeless. We flood stories. <laughs> the homeless, the homeless <laughs> of Minnesota. <laughs> hey, Aaron, I got like forty homeless guys in here with these cards. What are you doing to me? You destroyed me. <laughs> when it, it's it's bothersome to you, it's it's intrusive on you, and it interrupts the show. I just got to oh. make sure we're making we're making the do uh, to stay stay up. And you guys are great, and you guys do respond. That's why I ask because when I ask. You, die, you guys do usually kick in. So every 20 bucks is getting 50 bucks to Stoney's today. Thank you very much. Uh, 245 Really? Because you kind of blew by that oh, Vance wait. guy. <laughs> we don't know his address. We don't know how to get him the card or anything. So uh, This one's called... It's rally time, Mike. Rally time! All right, let's start a rally. What do you say? Turn your hats inside out. Let's start a rally. <laughs> get your monkeys out, people. Uh, A-Team with two $20 drops says here's... Thank you. A load for you. So A team is getting two fifty dollars. He just blows by. By the way, he's like, "Yep, yeah, everyone thinks I eat cum." Anyways, <laughs> here's keep some, donating. Uh, twenty dollars. Uh, here's some cum for your eye. Oh, thanks for the twenty dollars. All right, moving on. Stony's gift cards. That's also going to knock our goal down by another thirty bucks. Hey guys, two fifteen away from today. Between Vance and A team, we're starting to put a dent in this thing. Keep it going. 215 away. See how quick it goes? Uh, every 20 bucks today is getting 50 bucks to Stoney's. Uh, we're going to get our hands on those tomorrow. Five bucks from Jennifer. Oh, he doesn't he doesn't have them yet. So he's telling people shit he doesn't even have. Oh, really? Because there's other there's other times where he's like, I got them right upstairs. I'll, I'll run up and no, grab them. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. We're going to have them tomorrow, guys. No, promise you. Promise. Give me that 20 and I'll get you that. We're over on PayPal. Thank you very much. That's going to be 210. All right. We're cooking. We're cooking. Today. So we're only 210 away. See these rounds? I'm going to just start emailing random people in the neighborhood. Hey, uh, you hear Stoney's? Would you like to go there? <laughs> Give me your address. I'm going to send you a card. Hey, <laughs> hey, make fun of it all you want, but this Stoney's thing is working. We've knocked it down to 210, baby. This is a rally. All right. People are paying $20 at a time to go to a bar in Minnesota, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> or just put the coupon on the fridge. I mean, what do we do with it in California? What do I do with this? Rally, these rallies come in, they get shit down pretty quick. It's this uh, this starts to come down pretty quick once those tw- uh, 20s start popping yeah. in. So the 210. Guys, you don't understand the power of $20 donations. It really is magical. Because you see, the goal is a number. Let's call it 350 And if you subtract in increments... It goes down by the same amount each time. So if you tr- subtract in increments of one, let's say, then you got to go 349, 348, 347. But what you guys don't know, you people who don't work in goals, what you probably don't understand is $20 increments, those are much larger. And then you can knock it down. It's 330, it's 310, it's 290. So you see these donations take out much bigger chunks of the goal than smaller donations. Why do you talk to us like that, Aaron? We understand that more money equals more money. We we all know that. We know that if we donate more, the goal is less. We get how math works. You don't have to talk to us like retards. It's it's, it's Elaine. He definitely thinks we do not understand how any of this works. Oh, if I give more money, that means you need to make less money after that. Wow. Is the number today. Fuck it, dude. Let's get it down to 100 by 9 o'clock. You guys yeah, have got it. it. Every oh, 20 bucks. Yeah. Throw it's your fun. cares away. <laughs> <laughs> Enough living by what the man tells you. Stop living in this prison and just break out. And get, let's get the goal down to $100 by 9. Let's get it down to 100 by 830. Come on. Who gives a fuck? Let's sure, you just paid down. You just paid three hundred dollars for an ear of corn at the grocery store. What is that? Who cares? <laughs> this is what your money's for. Me, groceries, schmoceries. <laughs> I say, paint the town red. Fuck Have it. some fun. <laughs> Fox gets fifty to Stonies. Thanks again. All right, this will never happen. Is the next one. The, it's what it's what we were talking about before, but he's just not going to do this. Like. It just won't. He's he's promising something in order to get you to donate money, and he has no intention of doing it. I don't know if there's a word for that. Maybe you guys can come up with one, but it seems fishy to me. 
Uh, 20 bucks over on Venmo. Bico Cat says, I task you with finding a local veteran and give him or her my $50 gift certificate. Oh, that's our idea. There you go. If you're a veteran, uh, get in touch with me. Send me your contact info. I'll send you 50 bucks. Oh, that's gross. Two stonies. So I, I will translate oh, that for you. Yeah. <laughs> I will translate that for you. Oh, goody. A gift card I don't have to give out. <laughs> yes. One less thing I got to do. You think today. he's going to find a veteran? Some, just some guy is going to message him on Twitter. Aaron's going to, what, go through his fucking military records to confirm he was a veteran? This isn't going to happen. He's lying. Yes. And it's got to be it's got to be an out of state veteran. It just also, it feels does it not feel gross to you Aaron to be like, "Hey, your donations will help veteran army veterans." That's now the world you're in. Is you're saying that people's donations like, hey, yeah, it'll no, it'll go to help a veteran. So now you have to find a veteran to yes. give them a $50 <laughs> gift card to Stonies. He's never going to do that. And you just saved no. him a gift card. No, it's and they're called receipts, Aaron. When you say something like that, you need to show receipts. We donate to the Ehlers Download Society when we do the the Eric show, unboxing Eric, because that's the thing Eric had. When is that? When can people donate to that? Uh, they can donate any time. Uh, we're tonight, at Sunday, uh, at 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific. Uh, oh, we go through Eric calls, but uh, we we post our receipts because when you say something online, people don't just assume you're going to do it, especially if it's charitable. You need to show that you did it. Right. Well, especially when you're a guy who everyone questions everything you're doing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no one even questions us, or they don't care about us, but they don't question us, and we do it anyway. Uh, Aaron, you have a little uh, trust issue. Thank this, you. This is the stuff. When I, when I was sitting there on uh, this little piggy, again, I was not in a bad mood, but Casey said it seemed like I was. But I was probably <laughs> thinking... You smelled a fart or something. <laughs> I was probably <laughs> thinking, I don't know if the man's going to go to jail or not, but this is criminal. We should be talking about this. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's very nice of you, Beco Cat. Thank you for your generosity. Johnny, that also puts us 145 away Woo-hoo! for today. We can do this. Gray Duckling with 20 bucks says, I don't need a gift certificate. All right, another veteran. <laughs> yeah. Two ve- <laughs> <laughs> All another- right. All right, 40 <laughs> veterans. What do you say? <laughs> No, I, he, I, you, you know what he said right there? He just gave up the, the game. He's like, oh, you don't want anything for this? I'll put it in the wink veteran file. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that'll be no problem. Finding a veteran in Minnesota <laughs> who knows who Aaron Imhold is and wants a Stoney's gift card. Easy peasy. No big deal. Also, by the way, I like Johnny going like, Aaron goes, the goal is 145. And Johnny goes, all right, we can do this. Like John, Johnny has Stockholm syndrome, where he's like yes. he's a character in a fucking football movie at halftime, where he's like the coach is giving a speech and he's like, "All right, maybe we maybe we do start playing with our hearts instead of our heads." Uh, yeah. The story of the Washington Generals, starring Johnny Crutches. <laughs> All we right, we can coach. do this. Yeah, this will be the first one. We got it. I'll be the veteran. One. Send me. But you're, you're absolutely right. That is, those gift cards are now in a pile of <laughs> gift cards I can give to someone else now <laughs> that gives twenty dollars because no, no, I just let, saved them. <laughs> let me correct you, Mike. Those gift cards are now like, oh, yes. I, well, I only need thirty-eight now, not forty. Oh, why? Uh, because two. Oh, seconds. you're right. Because he doesn't have them. I forgot <laughs> I about. That. I was thinking he already yes. had them. <laughs> <laughs> Two less I gotta ask this guy for and get him pissed off at me. Woo-hoo. Tax today. And we'll hook you up with 50 bucks to Stonies. Just walk into a VFW with a bunch of Stonies gift certificates. All the vets are like, well, thank you. And then the guy running the VFW is like, hey, <laughs> yeah. fucker. That might not go over so well. Uh, you thank you, Greg. <laughs> Let's do that. He just <laughs> told you trolls how to get him. <laughs> Duckling with the 20 bucks. You know what that does? One thirty away from today. Yeah. Five minutes until nine. We might get to 100. Whoa, by the top buddy. The- Whoa, buddy. Ding, 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 ding. It's very exciting. Very exciting stuff. <laughs> Guys, uh, if, I don't hear people reacting around the country, but if what you're not understanding is it's possible. These guys have whittled down the goal so much, they might be under 100 by 9 o'clock. <laughs> Are you not grasping what that means? It's a new, a new world order, I think. A new future for all of us. It's very exciting. <laughs> This one's called a good ad read. This is what you want. So Aaron has ad reads again for these businesses in Minnesota. (laughs) So like there's no, and it's not like, um, it's not a business where it's like they're based in Minnesota, but you can go to their website and order stuff from them. 
No, no. It's like a towing company. <laughs> where you literally, you physically have to be near them in order to use it. You or a bar. That, you remember that guy Carl had on, or he went on Carl's, uh, had the thing, and he snapped his fingers before, and he did a public access show? Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, uh, yeah he had Young. underwriters. Yeah, Harris Young. Harrison Young. He had yeah. underwriters for the show, and they were like <laughs> the tow truck company right in front of his house. Right, that's what Aaron's doing. He's doing a public access show on YouTube. These are my underwriters. <laughs> Gang, so let's go Adam and Mikey. All right, Mikey, send me your contact info, buddy. You got it. We'll get your Stoney's gift card sent out to you. So uh, veterans are getting a couple Stoney's gift cards. Yeah, we got two I'm more sure, left. I'm sure they are. Ever- <laughs> Veterans of the bullshit war. <laughs> veterans. <laughs> hey guys, good news. Veterans are getting these. Which <laughs> veterans, Aaron? Enlighten us. God, if I, I don't know if anyone watches Aaron's show live, maybe ask him how it's going next week. Hey, Aaron, did you get those gift cards to the veterans? What are their names? <laughs> get a name and a uh, you know were they a corporal? Where were they at? Wait, wait, this is this uh, stinks of what is it? False uh, uh, stolen you know, valor. St- stolen valor. You're yeah. stolen valor. Aaron. Every twenty bucks gets you fifty. To Stoney's Midland Armory in downtown Foley and All Care Towing. I went and saw the guys at All Care Towing yesterday. Had a nice. great time. Uh, John hold on, hold on, hold on. Really st- had a great time. <laughs> Did they take you for a ride? Did they hook up your car? <laughs> we, we towed some poor people. <laughs> it was like a ride along. We towed some people. They cried. It was great. I had a great time at the towing company <laughs> yesterday. Stupid question. Uh, they said, you staying out of trouble? <laughs> And I said, well, what do you consider rumors that you taste cum? Oh, you, or that you sent revenge porn or that you did drugs in a house with children in it. Like, phew, silly stuff like that. I often go to try to find the most blue collar worker I can and talk about the cum tasting I might, be, or might not be involved in. What are yeah. you doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just... That sounds like a lot of fun. Though. I did not say that. I said, boys, never. Here, look. Uh... If I may, <laughs> this is an ad read. <laughs> boys, I never blew a guy. Uh, now, make sure you get your car coded. <laughs> He's doing an ad read for Midland Armory in Minnesota going, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, that's, uh, that, that was you know, not I smart, Mike. I knew you didn't that. <laughs> I'm going to clip the shit out of that. I don't mind. <laughs> I'm comfortable in my sexuality, just like Aaron. <laughs> All care towing, 320-253-52. Hold on, go back a little bit. I want to hear that transition again. <laughs> Sucking some cock. All right, and so I'm changing I'm, radiators. I'm, I'm nibbling on some yummy cum. Oh, oh, that's right. I'm not done with the ad read yet. Let me get back here. I did not say that. I said, boys, never. Here, look. Uh... <laughs> All care towing, 320-253-52. <laughs> I'm sure this is a fucking family company in St. Cloud, Minnesota. <laughs> Quick, let's check our ad read. Oh, yeah, we played that radio guy. Let's check it yeah. out. The story is the these, pe- these people literally asked him, hey, you staying out of trouble? And then he does an eating cum act out <laughs> in their ad read. <laughs> I want to call Let's call that company right now and be like, what do you guys think, Aaron? What, <laughs> what an the, edgelord. He's so edgy. The cum eater? Yeah. Uh, this one's called Almost There. Guys, we're getting there. I don't know if you noticed this, but the goal's starting to dwindle away. We're starting to get down there. I think we might have gotten under 100 by 9 o'clock. You know how exciting that is. So we're we're chipping away at this thing. That was a very funny joke. All right, guys, that sure officially was. puts us at what? 105. Oh, I was wrong. <laughs> we're almost there, guys. Everybody throw in. We're out of Stonies, by the way, now. Stonies is out. Oh, no. Out of commission. All the Stonies went. Hey, good. And we're now- so I bet if they're out, if you have no more access to these gift cards, I guarantee there's no chance we hear that someone donated $20 and Aaron promises them a gift card because he's out of them. It's not possible for him to give them away anymore. So just keep that in mind. If you hear anyone donate $20, it's not like Aaron's going to promise them a gift card. That's for goddamn sure. A 105. Oh, wait, no, we have one left. We have well, one Stonies left. the chances? For the next person who throws in 20 bucks. But uh, 105 bucks away from today's goal. We are very close to knocking it out and calling it a perfect week for. Yeah, what a perfect week this has been for you, Aaron. 
Your life is perfect right now. <laughs> a man went on a show. Again, like, the cum thing is funny or whatever. Nick Ricada went on that this little piggy show and said that you beat your wife. And you have referred to this as a perfect week. <laughs> Do you think perhaps you've lost sight of what's happening to you? I think he just needs to readjust the goal. I think Every, he's a goal-based individual, and he only can focus on one goal at a time. We just need to refocus every, the goal. Everything's perfect. It's not like <laughs> my life is falling apart around me. This is perfect. This is exactly how I drew it up. I thrive in chaos. <laughs> It's a perfect week for the toe, dude. It's if it's a perfect week for the toe, it's an amazing week for Trump. I'm sorry, okay. I don't know. I That's all backwards. A, First of all, I think he means. I think he's trying. Like it seems like what he's trying to say. Hey, if it's a good week for Steel Toe, it's been a great week for Trump. But he says if it's a perfect week for Steel Toe, it's been an amazing week. Amazing is less than perfect. Perfect, there are no flaws. Amazing, there could be things you could critique still. So I don't even understand, yeah. but he's trying to compare. Like, I listened to the whole show. So what he's saying, he's like, Trump has some kick-ass cabinet members or something. Like, that's what he's alluding to. So you're set, you're equating you making $300 in a day to the selection of the leaders of the American government. <laughs> That's how Mike, delusional Aaron is. Mike, I think we're going to have to sit down and talk, though. Uh, this was a five-hour show. You watched the whole thing? From uh, beginning to end? Pretty much. I mean, double speed, but yeah, pretty oh, much. Oh, okay. Well, okay. I, and double speed, and I fast-forward through the like real serious political stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, because I was going to say, man, we, we need to get together. No, uh, no, no, Intervention no. team. God. <laughs> no, God. <laughs> that. I was looking for goals on this one. <laughs> okay, good. Boom. Uh, this one's called uh, Protease. Aaron's Aaron's a broadcaster. The guy's been doing it since he's eighteen, so uh, he's he's a broadcaster, and he knows how to tickle us. He knows how to tickle us, but we're not shooting yet. You know, he knows how to get us a little. Ooh, we're edging with Aaron. <laughs> edging with Aaron. That's that should be the show. <laughs> All right, let's do uh, let's do this next story. Uh, fake Baron. Oh God, guys, hit the goal today. This story is going to be great, and I'm worried we're going to have to interrupt it in five minutes. No! All, like all right, hurry up! <laughs> Get your wallets out! <laughs> Come on! I'd hate for Aaron to start a story and then be like, "Well, we didn't hit the goal," so I'm just in the middle. That's what Aaron's saying. That's how he's going to run his show. Like th that's as if right now we just cut the stream because you didn't give me enough super chats. Just in the middle of my set. I didn't do it, but I, if I had any guts like Aaron, I would have, I would have cut us off right there and been like, no, the show is over just right in the middle of my sentence because you guys didn't give me enough money. Yeah. Open those wallets, people. Come on. It could be really good. All the links are in the chat. 95 bucks away. Everybody throw in 10 or 20 right now. Do you yeah. want to go bigger than that? Go bigger. Then we Let's can hear this out. story that he didn't really fully say. He just went, oh, fake bear. Oh, you guys got to hear this. Like, he didn't even I tell us what the story was, really. His, his, his win there is we get to hear a story we could Google ourselves. I don't understand what we're winning, Aaron, when we... You're winning his delicious commentary. Oh. Don't you is understand? Is it Jones? Is it a, a voice <laughs> yeah. <thing? Like> <laughs> Yes, we get to hear his sultry voice. Tell us <laughs> just how much Alex Jones got screwed over. <laughs> Out this last 25... So we can do this story today. On camera for right, that is, that is, is a good point, by the way, where it's like, I, I think people enjoy me breaking down the topics I do. It's not a gift that I'm giving you. Like, <laughs> no. If they didn't listen to me do it, they just listen to someone else do it or go about their day. Like, it's not a gift that I'm giving you where it's like, you should really pay me for this. If you want to support us and become a member or whatever, I appreciate that. But it's not money you owe me for just doing my show. No, no, I've just, people, no one's made me do this. I've decided to do it. No, and then people turn the channel, and, and you can't get mad at them. Like we all do the same thing. Like uh, so, uh, creators do have this sort of sense of like you, you belong to me. No, we don't. We change yeah. the channel, and we don't. You don't belong to anyone. Wait, wait, you you also gave money to Carl. You gave money to Patrick Melton. <laughs> How could you do that to me? We have a relationship. Don't you understand? <laughs> 
you are mine. I own you. I, that's the other weird thing that like John does with like the legend and these people that get in stuttering John's world, where it's like, really, you donated to someone else, but I own you, and the way I own you is that I allow you to give me money. It, they have it like backwards. It's really yes. the people that donate own you. You guys own me. <laughs> You're tossing money at me in the chat and saying, dance, boy, for our humor. That's I mean, that's well, not me owning someone. Well, just think a couple you know, minutes ago, John was welcoming people that had been to hadn't been to his chat in a while in a very not nice way, you know? Right. Like, right. Oh, asshole coming back to my Where you been? Where you been? Vegas <laughs> beer sales, Jerry. <laughs> Jesus. We, uh, listen, over at Hackride Studios, we appreciate every single one of you. There's like nine, and we love you all. <laughs> Damn straight. Hackridethedemon.com. Yes. Dude, it's too great. That's too good. $80 even away from to. Oh, this is called A Hero Emerges. I'm sorry, Mike. Oh, well, oh, this is big. If you're thinking like, I really, I could have donated. I have a few extra dollars, you know? I have some disposable income mm -hmm. that, I, that mm -hmm. I don't really need. I didn't do anything for the goal. Well, that's why once in a generation, a brave soul steps up <laughs> and does something that us cowards couldn't even imagine doing ourselves. Today's goal. Come on, guys. Let's knock out that last 80 bucks and on, call baby. it another win for the toe. I yes. also have one more uh, Stonies. Uh, which is going to Stephanie because Stephanie, oh my goodness. What happened? Stephanie with $50. You over beautiful a bitch. <laughs> oh, you sexy whore. She's getting the last one, and that means we are, what, 30 bucks away. That's well, overtime, go, baby. Guys. <laughs> Any way you slice it, we're getting some overtime. I thought we were going to have to do the final five minute thing. It turns out. You guys are inside of 50 bucks, so... Hey, no need to do that. Remember that for later, because we're not nearly <laughs> done yet. Remember, Aaron's not going to have to beg the last five minutes, so keep that in mind. ...up and knock out this last 30 and call it the final win for the toe. That's our only $50 one today, so we did this almost exclusively 20 bucks and under. Thank you guys yeah. again. Another round of applause for... It's like the Obama campaign. Small party donations only. <laughs> no, no big bundlers. Very big, yeah. <laughs> the toe... Thanks. No special interests fund this campaign. <laughs> Just stonies. It is. It's funny to break it down in that way, where he's like, "Listen, we're not supported by the the big industries. <laughs> <laughs> the um, what's big the in, insti institutional investors is what I'm trying yeah. to think of. We're we're held up by retail investors it's yes. the little guy the little guy the diamond handers <laughs> institutions haven't figured us out yet you know yes, they don't right. get us it's you guys the people that are supporting us yeah by the time the institutions get involved it'll all be too late and you'll miss your opportunity people buy as xrp if, now as if we think like other shows that get super chats like those are probably funded by like nike and apple you know <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but this one it's just it's a it's a it's an underground movement yeah, it's a Ma and Pa show. Yeah. Uh, he gives and gives. He really does. Aaron, he spoils us, quite frankly. I'm sure that's what he gaslights a lot of his uh, girlfriends into believing. that. You know, he treats us right, so every once in a while he can... He, de he deserves to go off on us, you know? $30 away from today's goal. Let's hammer out the last of it. I can taste it. You know what? I'll... So There's like so much cum that Aaron is. <laughs> we both got that. We both <laughs> round up one more stonies somewhere. You know what? We have one left over from last time. I know it's upstairs. Nobody gave me their address. I can <laughs> send it out. He's these things all over the place. Yeah, yeah don't worry. No, it's between the couch cushions. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I used two of them to make the chair not wobbly. Oh, I forgot about those. <laughs> Aaron has not gotten up and left. How does he know he has another one upstairs? Why he wouldn't he include it. that in the original run? <laughs> He made it up, Mike. He made up. The whole no. thing is made up. <laughs> I refuse to believe that he's just handing out fake $50. They, these are gift certificates to the human fund. He's just giving out fake Christmas presents. I mean, this shit might not be legal, <laughs> what he's doing right here. Now, if you really think about it. He's I'm sure yeah. it's. Pro I, but I will say, like, I know I don't know enough about it, but I know that certain people have tried to get Aaron in trouble for like prizes he gave away, which yeah. definitely isn't, but like who really gives a shit, you know? 
with fucking hall monitors. <laughs> no, that, that actually you can't do that, Aaron. I think it's way funnier for him to give away gift card. I'm not looking to get the guy in trouble, you know. But yes, oh, you're yeah, right. No. It's, pro- it's probably illegal. <laughs> yeah. It, well, I'm saying if you do it in a world full of trolls, you you, you got to act accordingly in a sure, world full of, of trolls. <laughs> Out. Let me make sure. Two, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine. T- yes. We uh we can do two more actually two more stones. Found another one. Oh, where'd you find the other uh, one, Aaron? That's so crazy. You haven't gotten up from your chair, and yet you magically found two gift cards. If you'd like, uh, twenty bucks gets you fifty dollars to Stonies in downtown. It's crazy Lock. to be like I really need thirty dollars off my meal if I go to Stonies. Like I'll pay twenty dollars for the privilege. Of not paying thirty dollars later, you know what I mean? Yeah, like you're you're splitting the meal with Aaron essentially. <laughs> this, you know, this, like isn't that crazy? <laughs> it reminds me of like when my mom, when I was a kid, would go shopping and she'd be like, "But it's two hundred dollars off. I have to buy it." Like, no, you don't have to buy it. It's right. It you're doesn't... still spending money and going yes. out of your way to use that when you otherwise wouldn't have. <laughs> you're not saving anything. The, no. they, even the people in Minnesota. The odds are they aren't going to this bar anyways that Aaron happens to frequent. <laughs> no. You know? So it's if like it you have to go t- out of your way to use, use this gift card now and still pay $30? If you're two towns over, you got your or own 20. little shitty stonies in your yeah. town. You ain't going over there. Gas right. expensive? Get out of here. That would work if we had, like, Star Trek transporters. <laughs> all right, everyone. All right, you got a right. gift card. Now you can just transport to stonies, you know? Yeah. My- it's like if you were doing, you know how uh, like you go into CVS and you can buy like Amazon gift cards for Christmas yes. or whatever? Yes. It's like if you were buying those for yourself. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like yeah. put $100 on this and I'm going to trick myself into thinking I'm saving money. Uh, when I, it makes the people at the store think I have friends and family. Yeah, that yeah right. <laughs> it's like Nathan Fielder move. All right, Mike. <laughs> we are into overtime. All right. So now in overtime... This is actually a new experience to me because I would always stop watching once he does or doesn't hit the goal. Like after the goal, in my mind, the show was done. Um, but for like a steel toe fan, he just keeps he stops talking about the goal and he starts getting into topics like all these fun things. Remember, he was worried about getting cut off too early. No <laughs> yes. worries for that now because he has got open roads ahead of him. So let's oh, see no. how Aaron cruises <laughs> through this overtime without ever mentioning the goal. No, he's going to talk about the goal immediately, isn't he? Oh, come on. Boy. <laughs> I don't think so. As we said, still 25 bucks away. Oh. What? I thought, you didn't, out. I thought we were in overtime where that was done, you know? I swear I edited this correctly. We are in overtime, <laughs> but apparently we're not. Today's goal. Let's do it. Who wants to play the hero today? The hero. Who wants to play the hero here in overtime? We might still have to do a can rattling segment in about 12 minutes. We will see. Streamlabs. I like PayPal. I like the, the montage from the end of The Dark Knight, where like oh, yes. is, he's riding on the motorcycle and everything. I, I want that. Speech. We all deserve. Yes. I want that speech, but just with someone pulling a twenty five dollars out of their wallet. <laughs> you know, they bring the twenty out in slow motion, <laughs> and they look through. There's like, do I have a five? <laughs> Not the he's hero the we only, deserve. <laughs> he's the only one we that can handle it. <laughs> a then hero. No. A hero. Oh. Super chats. Let's get this thing hammered out and call it a perfect week for the yes. old toe. Perfect. Remember, it's morning, all been perfect. Uh, Rumble Friday. Rumble Friday is tomorrow. Hmm. When you guys get to throw in the links, we get to use all the naughty, terrible words. All right. That is it for that one. Now it's crunch time, Mike. Okay. All right. So, as you heard Aaron say earlier, uh, if you guys hit the goal, he doesn't have to do that begging thing. Wouldn't that be nice if we get into overtime? He doesn't have to do the begging thing. So these are the last five minutes of overtime where he's not doing the begging thing. This is this is something totally different that he does at the end of overtime. This is more of a show, you know? This is people watching for that steel toe content that they want. This is not begging at the end of regulation. This is overtime. It's totally different. All right, we got five minutes left. Let's do it. I will use the last of my voice and the last of the five minutes of today's show to knock out that last $25. Feels eerily similar. And the last of my shame, obviously. I gave it up. In overtime, he's gotten $5, if that. (laughs) 
I guess that story wasn't as good as you thought, huh, Aaron? <laughs> yeah, right. But people were also like, oh, the donating is done, right? <laughs> Can we stop donating yeah, we're, now? We're, we're done with that part. Yeah. Yeah. Once you get to the membership side, people are like, oh, we're here. We don't have to buy memberships anymore. We're here. <laughs> yeah. When we got down to 25, I didn't even use the last five minutes of regulation to make it because I was just like, pfft. Magnanimous. Steel Toe audience has got this. Yeah. And I still think you've got this. I believe in you. <laughs> it's a I Dan think you've Lane got what it takes. <laughs> it's a halftime football speech. Folks, we're down three here at halftime. I got I know you got the balls, kid. It felt that actually felt more like a just a phony politician. And <laughs> I still believe in you. <laughs> yeah. So let's do it. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty bucks at a time. It's really Stream you know the inspiration more. that that brings? You remember when George Bush was talking after 9-11? Uh, I think he was on like a megaphone or something. And someone yelled. He's standing on a pile of rubble. Yes. <laughs> someone yelled, uh, I can't hear you. And George Bush yelled, but I can hear you. And people were like, that is powerful. That's kind of like Aaron believing in us. You know? Yes. He's like, wow. We, I, feel, I feel seen and heard. <laughs> and soon, millions of Iraqis who had nothing to do with this will hear of us too. <laughs> <laughs> what, what Bush did is less detrimental to the country than the goal. <laughs> <laughs> We've forgiven him. We'll never forgive you, Aaron. Maybe, maybe one day Aaron will uh, ride bikes and paint. <laughs> uh, well, he did have some yellow cake. Oh, white cake. God damn it. I was trying to do a yellow cake Iraq joke. Never mind. Anyway, moving on. The cum, you know, cum cake. I got Edmo, you. super <laughs> chats, rumble rants. Let's spark something here and get that last 25 bucks Rump taken two care of. Together. What do you say? Spark of, and call it the final win for the toe. On YouTube this week. Everybody throw in. Let's get it done. We've got four and a half minutes. Ooh, time is left flying to go. off the shelf here. Rally it up. We've also got two more $50 Stoney's gift cards for the next two people who throw in $20. You throw in $20. It's weird. I kind of remember you saying you were out of them. It's weird that you got two, but <laughs> we'll set you up. Let's go ahead and do it, guys. What do you got for Hold us? Hold on. Holy shit. I just realized where he got the two gift cards. Remember the two people that said, give this to a veteran? <laughs> <laughs> what a scumbag. <laughs> he just openly did it in front of us and even tricked me when I was watching it. I didn't even realize he did that. He's like, oh, you know what? I might have two extras. Could it be the two people who were like, hey, give this to someone who needs it? <laughs> What a piece of shit. I didn't even realize it. Someone alert Patrick Melton to this. <laughs> this is crazy. Uh, oh, you get a gift card. A side bonus if you're a veteran, because then I two birds with one stone. Can't that be was, nothing. That's, cra- you know? that's definitely what he did. That's so crazy. He did. <laughs> I found these two uh, just sitting that's here. That's crazy. I, I magically found two more gift cards. The exact amount that people told me I could just do what I want with. Let me resell these and make the money <laughs> off these. I literally make money off of fucking uh, you know, people. He's, he's Ricky wars Bobby's with. dad. <laughs> <laughs> Two tickets. <laughs> got him? Need him? Got him? Good overtime. We did it for you. Come on. Let's go ahead and knock it out for the toe. You're the best audience there is keeping this show on the air as long as you have. Uh, Black Friday marks four years that we've been gone from radio. And your donations. That's have been not really how dates air, work, so. but yeah. <laughs> well, thank you very much for that. All right. Approachable says, what else do you have to sell? I have too many Stoney's gift cards as it is. How about this? Ten bucks, I'll give you a steel toe five and a half inch vinyl sticker and I'll send it out to you. <laughs> there you go. First ten bucks gets a sticker. All right. Uh, how much will you give me for my couch? What's that <laughs> worth to you? <laughs> Ten dollars for a four dollar sticker. Wow, goddamn! <laughs> right. Just looking around the room. Oh, that's a good point too. Ten dollars will give you a sticker. I didn't even think of that. He's just looking around the room and giving you things. Uh, I don't know. Anyone in need of a salt shaker? You, you need one of those? Forty bucks. Uh, got a double sided dildo. Not gonna need this anymore. Uh, <laughs> you want? The- <laughs> oh, April, I miss you, April. Second ten bucks will get two old Twitch stickers. And I think this is my last YouTube one that I have. Uh, let's get this 25 bucks handled, guys. It's a small amount. It's not a consequential amount, but it's, you know, it looks good. Well, it's not it's consequential, symbo- Mike. It's, it's symbolic. <laughs> it's good that I'm giving you money for nothing. I'm glad it's inconsequential. God, not consequential. Hey, here's 25 useless dollars. <laughs> 
worst beggar ever. Uh, can I like imagine you walk out of a courthouse? Can I get a dollar? Oh, this uh, this is not inc- inconsequential. I don't need this money. Yeah, a homeless <laughs> guy's like, I, just so you know, I don't even need this. I don't need it. Just but I have I have hassled you for four and a half hours about it. <laughs> Would you like a stony scared? <laughs> for us to knock it all out, three minutes away from the end of today's show. And if we get this 25 in real quick, we can sneak another uh, another little topic in or check on Alex Jones. Do some things here on the yeah, program. You definitely haven't talked. I, oh, listen, I listened to it. You definitely haven't talked Alex Jones to death. I think there are some, a few points you haven't made yet. It seems like to be his only subject, Mike. <laughs> I'm just spamming the chat for you. I do want to thank you guys for uh, rallying up today and getting us so far down. You're welcome. On this goal. I also want to thank the audience of the evening shows. Who have knocked out our evening show. You guys, you guys are the real heroes. <laughs> I you also want to thank. Imagine the evening show being like, he didn't thank us, that motherfucker. <laughs> That's, I think that uh, might be my favorite thing, is that he acts like the evening show is an entirely separate group of people. They've never, yes. they've never heard of the morning show. They don't know anyone that watches the morning show. It's just a whole different group where they're like, oh, Aaron, you also do a morning show? That's crazy. I've never checked it out. I'm an evening yeah. show guy. Yeah. Demo's different at night. It's all Gen Z, uh, oh, yeah, mostly no. trans women. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's, it, it, that's the hip show. That's the hip audience. Yeah. Uh, we knocked out all three this week. I appreciate that. All right. But we got two and a half minutes left. Let's not stop short at 25. You got a couple. You can yeah, throw in a couple. And I've already told you it's this. meaningless, but <laughs> come on. It's meaningless, inconsequential, uh, useless. Give money, people. Well, that, that's where Aaron has a tough time navigating, because I've been part of a lot of these conversations, where we're, well, people will ask, why? Like, So if you're $10 away or $25 away from the goal that like makes or breaks your day and ultimately makes or breaks your week, like, how does that make any sense? So I think Aaron hears that feedback. And he's like, I know what I'll do. I'll just be fucking chill about the goal. Like, you know, 25 bucks ain't no big deal. But he forgets the part where he doesn't beg for it. He's like, yeah. I'll still beg for it, but I'll act like it's inconsequential. It's meaningless to me. Because I have a small uh, fish brain and I immediately forget about the begging. I just yeah. see the money and I'm like, oh, yes. How did I get this yeah. thing out? Let's do it, boys and girls. What the hell? You're the best. You're awesome. I love you. Love us back. Throw us a couple bucks. 25, you got it. <laughs> Come on. Uh, uh, what's uh, 25 Hopkins bucks between all... friends? <laughs> you didn't see this, but he put up both of his hands and he like shoot him. Like if you were shooing something away. He's like, ah, come on. Give him the money. Hey, yes. Just fucking toss me some money. Hey, you got a Stoney's gift card out of it. Isn't that exciting? <laughs> they donate Stonies. $20 for those mics. I, I need these. All right, two minute oh, warning. You son of a gun. <laughs> I guarantee the food that comes out at Stoney's from those gift cards got like flies, human spit in it. <laughs> I wonder what I wonder what it's like. I, I I wonder if Stoney's is just a magical place. Let's do it. Who's got us? Okay, you can't see this, Mike. He's wearing uh, pink leggings and bare feet. Just just so oh, you know what's going on. Uh, the pink leggings, they're, they're juicy sweatpants. They say juicy on the ass or something. Oh, okay. These are the ones that little Lemmy bought him. Okay. Mm-hmm. I, I heard a little of that on Little Piggy while you were smelling the fart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You keep <laughs> saying that. I had a lovely time. No, you were amazing. You just like were like, what are we talking about here? <laughs> I came for jokes. So why are we looking into his fucking... <laughs> look, look at my pink pants. Look at my pink capris that I've rolled up. I'll put these down once we knock out the 25. A team with twenty. Aaron, bucks. you're debasing yourself. Yeah, have some fucking answer. dignity. <laughs> what are you yes, doing? I live in a gay-friendly uh, area of the country. Uh, this is the queerest thing I've seen in my life. <laughs> it's, uh, the way he's sitting on his desk like this. Congratulations. But if, pe- if people were like, "Oh my god, it's so funny when Aaron like," there there are people that like Brendan Schaub's show or Chris D'Elia's show. Like when we talk about, say, Chris D'Elia, I we get a lot of comments that are like, oh, fuck you. You're just jealous. Why don't you put on a better show than Chris? Like all that type of shit. Yeah. Chris has fans that find whatever, you know, who am I to decide what's funny? Like pe- there are people that like what Chris D'Elia does. I don't understand it, but it exists. 
I don't believe there's anyone that's like, oh, I love when Aaron humiliates himself and puts on <laughs> pink panties and begs for the goal. That's really funny. That's my favorite part of the show. Like, I refuse to believe that exists. That does not exist. Uh, no way, no shape. Because here you go. All right, 10 bucks left. Hammer out this final 10 bucks. Come on, guys. And let's call it the final win for the toe. Yeah. There it is. $10 left to go. A minute and a half left on the clock. Do it up. Who's got the final 10? Or can we do it a buck at a time? Either way. Oh, that's the fun. <laughs> that's the most fun. $10 left for the toe. Hammer it out. And let's call it a win after these 30 minutes of overtime. Uh, InfoWars is now signing out. Legal strategy is hush-hush from Alex. All right, we're going to check that out as soon as we get this hammered out. Come on, guys, 10 bucks left. He doesn't, left. by the way. <laughs> Don't talk Spoiler. about shows that are... Spoiler alert. <laughs> talk, talk about shows better than yours on your show while you're asking for money. <laughs> Don't do that. Let's do it. One minute to go. Yeah, they could just watch Alex Jones' live stream. <laughs> Right. What are we doing? And not pay him to watch. We're paying you to watch his stream on your channel. What are we doing? Best audience in all of broadcasting. If oh, you don't, ask you butter me, me up. I, I, he's, he, he obviously has not met Gearheads. Uh, fucker. Yeah. Damn straight. So let's hammer it. Let's. What are they called? Are they Toeheads? Toe Toe Jams? What are, What are Steel Toe people? Oh, I heard this recently. I think they're Toe Boys. <laughs> Toe boys. <laughs> I've heard, toe I heard boys. that reason. I could be wrong. I think that's true, though. It's gayer than Daylord's. Uh. <laughs> Let's finish it up for the week. Eh? Das Optic Nerve says somebody has to donate for those pink tights. It's kind of what I thought. I mean, they're sweatpants, but we'll go with tights. Ten bucks. That's it. It's nothing. Come on. Ten bucks. This is always or an argument. It's like an argument that cheap people have where they're like, just give me, just give me ten dollars. That's not, that's barely any money. Well, you're the one asking me for, so it means something to you, right? Right. Why right. should I just give it to you if it's meaningless? Then neither of us should care about it. But you seem to really care about it. So shouldn't I care about it a little bit if it's my ten dollars? We need you to teach a symposium to professional athletes coming into the league, Mike. Because <laughs> family members, oh my God, they just ask and ask and ask. All right. Thirty seconds left. You're not gonna. We're not gonna be short by ten. I mean, it doesn't really matter if we're short by ten. Then okay, why are you we're, doing this? We're done here. Okay. If it doesn't really matter, talk about the Alex Jones thing you keep teasing. <laughs> this is inconsequential. Life is inconsequential. But donate. <laughs> I'll tell you. I'll tell you not. what doesn't really matter. Is like I make my living from patreon luckily we have enough subscribers that i earn a living the money i make on youtube is a nice little bonus so i don't constantly beg for super chat when you guys super chat us i really appreciate it but it is inconsequential to me and it's why i virtually never mention it <laughs> if i started saying how unimportant it was all the time then you could probably guess maybe it's a little more important than he's letting on maybe he really yes. needs us to super chat him <laughs> I mean, he is wearing a lady's tights that were sent to him, so he yes. guy needs money. We're not going to be short by 10, are we? Ah, we'll get it back during uh, Rumble Friday, I suppose. We got 30 seconds left to go. Oh, my God. My heart we'll is racing. We'll see if we hit this final 10. I do want to thank you guys for uh, hammering this out, though. You guys have been hey, awesome today. Thank you. As <laughs> yes, I think it's all. As <laughs> usual. It I appreciate it. All right, 20 seconds. You know how the Amish make a barn? Sure. That was us. That was us today. <laughs> <laughs> we made an error. It takes barn. a village. <laughs> to go. Ten bucks away. There's three dollars from Atomic Ray. Says when will the Rumble stickers be available? Oh, that's a good question. All right, here we go. It's a seconds. great question. <laughs> Much like uh, Nikola Tesla would ask. You know. <laughs> Uh, if I'm making rumble stickers, Mike, just put one right in my brain. Put one it's right very right funny. It's very brain. funny, by the way. It's, <laughs> it's very funny, by the way, to give three dollars when he's ten dollars away. <laughs> <laughs> it is. You're still not gonna hit it. <laughs> it's nine, eight, seven. We're eight bucks away. Six. Wait, ten minus three. Yeah, seven. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Five. <laughs> that's still <laughs> tone math. Okay. Four, three, two, people. One.
Doesn't matter. It's inconsequential. Well, you know what? <laughs> Fuck you guys. It'd be great if you just went off. <laughs> it would be great if everyone got refunded if you didn't <laughs> hit the goal. That would be fun. <laughs> now so that's you interesting. Them, you get every you get them like a close to a dollar away every day, and that's then get refunds. <laughs> now that's very interesting. <laughs> Oh, he would, Mr. Nice Guy would go away in five seconds. With that one. <laughs> Hurry! Or I'll have to give all this money back. I can't give these Stony gift cards back. He won't do it. <laughs> we lost by eight today. Eight. Damn. Well, you guys think you're fucking hilarious, don't you? That's like fucking uh, right. Kevin Dyson in the Super Bowl. You know? They were one yard <laughs> short. <laughs> yes. Uh, another loss for the Washington Generals. I mean the toe. <laughs> Appreciate it. Sam Show says, I always hope you're short by $1. $8 is a funny one, guys. You guys are awesome. You earned your overtime Hilarious. today. It was a fun show, and we appreciate it. Take it easy. We'll talk to you again tomorrow. I can't wait. I can't wait to donate tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> that was very uncomfortable. Uh, now, Night Show, you're on the clock for this $5. <laughs> You're on the hook. <laughs> You're on the <laughs> fucking unbelievable. Oh, yeah. it's exhausting, but you know, I, I like to think we did. I know we were eight dollars short, but it really—it's a triumph of spirit, you know. Yes, like we basically were... we, ba we basically did it. We did it, and people were eight dollars short here. So we got a few minutes left. Let's hit the goal. Get us oh, eight dollars. Yeah, no. We're about—we're roughly forty thousand dollars short of our goal today. So hurry up. <laughs> Go to blindmike.net for. Everything blind, Mike. Look at me. I did it. Kragers did it. 